on, this is the clip I took of her. <laughs> oh, you gotta love this, man. You gotta love this. Joe Rogan pontificating about the homeless, right? And on my life, I don't, again, maybe it's just me, on my life, but I get the feeling Joe Rogan doesn't really like homeless people that much. And I wonder if it's like, I wonder if it's justified. I wonder if it's justified. I really wonder if it's justified. Because maybe if you actually live in LA, because I, I remember I went to LA in 2017 for, I keep mentioning it plenty of times on here, for the Golf Wine Festival, Tyler Creators Festival that I went to. That was probably one of the best festivals I've been to as well in terms of the, the range of flipping artists playing. And more so from a from a fucking um, nerdy black boy's point of view, to go to a festival where I'm seeing mad people that look like myself that are into that kind of music, that was also refreshing because everything I go to here in Europe from metal festivals to punk shows and shit, I'm one of the only black people in there, innit? so it can be a bit annoying. So to go and see people that look like myself over there was fucking sick. But one thing I did notice walking around LA was that there were mad people, mad homeless people, sorry, just walking around. Like, bare. Like, a lot more than, like, I'm used to seeing even here in London. We have a, a big homeless, homeless, homeless problem here in the UK. And I was wondering, maybe, if you actually live there, day-to-day basis, especially if, you, you know, if you're somebody that's got a lot of money, and you pay for the privilege to remove yourself from the poor people, right? You don't want to live next to the brokies, but you still see them. And they're building all these tent cities all over the place. Is there a part of you that will end up hating them as much as Joe Rogan too? Or... Do you think the whole hating the rich, whole hating the poor people thing is just what happens when you get money? You start off being middle middle class or upper middle class, and then just because of the virtue of attaining wealth or getting some money through the sweat of your own brow, you turn into those people who starts to believe that, oh, because I pulled myself up by my bootstraps, everyone else can do it too. Even though you don't recognize your own privileges, your own advantages, timing, luck, personality, blah, 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 work ethic, right? Maybe, I don't know, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm just trying to give him some bit of rope here because I get the feeling Joe Rogan fucking hates homeless people. Like He despises them to his absolute core. To the point where I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's why he actually moved to Austin. Not because of LA and Hollywood and wanting to, you know, go to a place that's maybe a bit more um, representative of his new politics that he's into now, right? In terms of being a bit more right-leaning. Maybe he legitimately moved his entire family operation to Austin because he doesn't want to see poor people anymore. I don't know, but let me know what you think after seeing this clip. And then uh, we're on the underpass, and there's porta potties, not one either, like four, like a deck of porta potties. Wow. And then someone has a car parked there on the sidewalk, like partly on the sidewalk. So they're like half blocking a lane. And then they have like a, a canopy draped over their car, and they have just stacks of shit. And then next to it was a dresser. They had a dresser. Jesus. So they had their shoes and a shoe rack. There was a shoe rack. Like this is where they live. They're That's just, really wild. I didn't know also that, um, you know, when when you, you see stuff like that on the streets, at least in Los Angeles or maybe in California, those are that's protected property, like by law. You know that, like if you were so to you're go, not supposed to do that. But and, and but like that's that person's property by law. If you oh, were to the go, homeless person's property yes. is protected. Yes, absolutely. Huh? If you were to go and try to move that or take that, you get arrested. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. so they wouldn't arrest you if you shot somebody. <laughs> Maybe she's just going to shoot Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back again. Go you back. get arrested. Yeah. No, no. Pro yeah. Property's yes. protected? Yes. Absolutely. Look how pissed off and angry that he is when he finds out homeless people have rights. <laughs> He's like, huh? You don't have a home? You don't have a job? You panhandle for money? You're drug addicts? You have no discipline? You don't get up at 5 a.m. in the morning and run? You don't get in a cold bath and you have rights? Rights! <laughs> huh. If you were to go and try to move that or take that... You'd they, get arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't arrest you if you shot somebody. Maybe mm -hmm. you should just go and shoot the homeless people. I like your ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And don't get me wrong. I enjoy that kind of humor anyway. And Tom's that kind of guy. But look at Tom's face. He knows... There's like a there's like a kernel of truth in there. There's a kernel, a smidge, a little drop, a little one drop. You know the one drop rule? <laughs> the black thing in the US. There's definitely a bit of that, man. 
there's definitely a bit on that. Like, oh my god, it's actually incredible. Joe Rogan fucking hates the homeless, hates them to his core. And interesting thing about it too, it's not like I think the old Joe Rogan. The more left leaning Joe Rogan, the more like centrist Joe Rogan would actually have some pretty interesting um, ideas or solutions around how to kind of combat hom homelessness, right? He'd actually be engaged in the conversation around it, um, the latest findings about drug abuse, about mental health, about, you know, how tax, how, how flip people's, um, how the money's getting allocated in terms of solving that whole issue. Like, there'll be something that he'd provide in terms of an eye-opening sort of interesting idea behind homelessness. But this version of Joe Rogan just like, nah, bruv, I don't care, man. Do you know what I mean? These guys have tents. They have their own tents. Do you guys hear that? They have their own tents. They have rights? <laughs> He's like, he doesn't understand. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get it at all. <laughs> oh, man. Big up the chat though, what is chat saying here? Um, blah blah blah, the chat saying what here? He's joking, he's talking anything bigger than half. Okay, he's joking, yeah, of course he's joking, but you know, I'm joking too. Um, ba 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 ba, that's extra. Joe's really lost touch with reality. Um, but guys, can we be honest and say, can we be honest and say, do you guys honestly think Marty Moose has just said that Joe Rogan's lost touch with reality? I tend to agree, but can we be honest with ourselves? Wouldn't we also lose touch of reality if we were able to make the amount of money that Joe Rogan has made over the years from talking shit into a microphone like I am doing right now? He's obviously got a much better setup than I have. He's obviously been doing it for way longer than I have. Blah, 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 blah. But if we were able to make that, because that's the thing I think, sometimes people don't really put that to... Because I think, that I, I, honestly, I honestly, I honestly, honestly do think there's a part of me that honestly believes, because I've listened to Joe Rogan for too long. I honestly believe in my heart of hearts, Joe Rogan believes in his heart of hearts that we could all be Joe Rogan too. That's his fundamental principle. His fundamental belief system is that if you work hard enough, you can be me. So when he sees a homeless person, he sees somebody that doesn't want to work hard. <laughs> he sees somebody that doesn't want to jog that doesn't want to eat a carnival diet, right? That doesn't want to get in cold baths. <laughs> that doesn't want to have that neck thing that he has on there. That weird neck thing that he uses. That's honestly what he thinks. I honestly do think that's what he thinks. So it's hard for him to get out of his head that there are people out there that are just happy to have a... Like, for instance, Joe Rogan the same when it comes to jobs. Have you heard Joe Rogan talking about people that have 9 to 5s? He, Joe Rogan thinks if you have a 9 to 5 like a regular job that you're a loser that you have given up on life that how could you be in this confined box and this fucking um, lord looking over you and you have to turn up to somebody's place to work to earn your money and you have to ask permission to go on holiday for him that seems like a foreign concept because he's been able to essentially take himself from being a quote-unquote security guard or from working as a as a tradesman or what did he say he worked as a, as a roofer or whatever for a couple of summers he took himself from doing that into being you know one of the biggest podcasters in the world and stuff so maybe that's why he thinks like that so i don't so i don't know i'm not sure if it's if it's fair to say they lost touch because i don't know if we would all be the same if we all made money like that doing something that anyone could do maybe some maybe something in your head would maybe switch and you'd be like you know what if i can do it why can't all you do it do you know what i mean it's like there's no excuse maybe that's part of the f the full process that goes on people make this kind of money because i can't think of many people who are like ultra rich that do kind of content creation who are also like cool chill people do you know what i mean they all got a bit of cunt in them because maybe because I think they've, they all kind of despise their, their their fucking fans and their viewers. They look down upon them because they're like, why the, can't you do this also? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. There's part of me that thinks that, man. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, so what, he talked like, and then he got roofing for years. He got on quick though. Yes, I believe that's true. Most homeless people either have terrible mental illness or drug problems. That's the society issue. Of course, I believe that I'm true, Martin Moose. Um, homeless people don't, don't, don't do enough to DMT, says CJ. <laughs> He said many times that it's unfair for people to be born into luck and everyone's starting line is different. I agree with that. Um, Alan's brain is set up to get rewarded from being toxic. I don't know who that is about. How many people are the only people that can own shopping carts? 
<laughs> oh, Rogan hates homeless. Agassino hates loves homeless. Oh, that's a good one. That'd be a good t-shirt, actually. Um, am I going to do it? Nah. Um, they don't want to eat, eat elk. Um, Sal23 LKSD says, obviously just made your name off for everyone else. Cool. Um, Roots Calhoun's Tom McDonald Fool Sabian says, the homeless like you to post up on other people's property. Fuck that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a mad one. People that post up homeless on other people's property is crazy. It's the same thing that I don't have respect for fucking graffiti writers who tag up residential buildings. That was never the... That, so, yeah, residential buildings. That was never the aim. Don't tag up people's residential buildings. Don't tag up fucking people's houses and shit. I always thought that was lame. Yo, I got a big up, General. Big up, William. Big up, you. I'll be, I'll be way worse than Joseph the Robot. Thank you for some honesty here. Glad to see that. Yo... You're so giddy, yes I am. I'm so giddy, I'm so pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Leo Garcia says, if you have ever lived or worked in a large city, there are just there. It's neither good or bad as a whole. Many are mentally ill and not and, and not employable. You know what? That's actually my. That's actually where I stand on that. Actually, Leo Garcia. That's actually exactly where I stand on that one. It's just part of living in a fucking metropolitan city. Do you know what I mean, there's not going to be the fucking um range of people from rich to poor is just so drastic it's so brutal not everyone's going to be able to get on their you know pull themselves up by their bootstrap it's just part of the person living in a, in a flipping metropolitan city if you don't see homeless people go move to the country uh what was this talking about da, da, jake tommy buns loves it when he's dead the robot says joe didn't even leave a city or a county jesse l says forgive my laughter says the richer you get the grosser people seem to you would imagine yet for sure Mo says Zinga Goat figure up. I, I, I agree. Thank you so much. Um, Captain Laser Eye says they had homeless people invading the properties in LA and police weren't really doing anything. Yeah, so, okay. So there, I, I get the animosity behind it. Especially if you have friends who have had their properties damaged by homeless people. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, cool. But still, he needs to relax. Because he legitimately sounds like he wants to purge on homeless people. Do you know what I mean? Um, but, who was saying, yeah. Joe could have some bad experience. Homeless are true. Mo says, yo, Zinga, chicken, tinga, rolling, a trolling aside. <laughs> Thank you. You're the GOAT. There's no one else out there giving us content like this one. Engaging with us at the same time. Respect for life. Oh, big up, Mo. Appreciate the kind words, my friends. Even though you're always trolling me about chicken tingas and you're always abusing me and making me cry into my pillow, I do appreciate when you do give me some compliments because I don't get them that often. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 